Hello and welcome to Earth Angel TV, the show created by Earth Angels for Earth Angels. I'm Michelle Gordon and I'm going to be doing a theme for January. For the next four episodes, I'm going to be talking about money. <laughs> I say that in a whisper because so many Earth Angels struggle with money. And you might be thinking, why is that? What is it about money that trips us up? And I'm talking about this coming from my own point of view, from my own experiences, from, um, from seeing my friends who are Earth Angels go through the same struggles. I'm in no way a financial advisor. I'm not a tax advisor. I'm literally just going to be sharing in the next four videos some really practical, simple things that have helped me to manage my money, to, to become friends with my money. There's no other way of saying it. There's a way I have become closer to my accounts, <laughs> which sounds really boring and really dull. Bear with me. It's the new year. It's a new start. And that's why this is the perfect time to really look at money. And I'm not going to talk about your underlying beliefs or anything like that. I'm going to look at some really practical, useful things that you can do to get organized with your money. So in this particular episode, I'm going to talk about um, my counting system. But before I get to that, I'm going to just say a little bit about why I think Earth Angels struggle with money. So if you're an Earth Angel and you're struggling with money and you don't really know why, the way that I look at it is that most Earth Angels, um, you know, the, the different types of Earth Angel, if you watch my other videos, if not, go back and see some of them. Um, so for example, there's angels. They come from the angelic realm, they are ethereal. You know, there is no such thing as money. They help people and they are given energy to be able to help people. There's an exchange going on, but there's no monetary system. So fairies come from the elemental realm. There's no monetary system. They might be bartering or exchanging, but there isn't such a thing as money. Same for mer people, same for star people. So all of these earth angels are coming from places where money doesn't exist. And then they come to earth and they're in human bodies and they've got to deal with money and they've got to make it and they've got to manage it and they've got to spend it wisely and they've got to create ways to make it to make a living because if they don't have it, they don't eat or they don't have somewhere to live. And for a lot of Earth Angels, this is a huge struggle because they're just not used to it. So even for old souls who may have had thousands of human lives, may have had many, many lives where they lived in poverty, where they lived in lack, and therefore they've brought all of that baggage with them into this particular life, and again, they find themselves without. So that's why I believe that Earth Angels struggle with money. If you have other ideas on why this might be, please do share them in the comments below. I'd love to hear other people's perspectives and ideas on all these things and also they help other people who watch the videos as well. So back to the content of this particular episode which is about my account system. Now <laughs> I know that this is going to sound incredibly boring and unsexy but bear with me. So back in the summer I was doing my yearly accounts for my tax return and my old method was basically just once a year gather everything up and figure it all out. Now, as you can imagine, as my business is growing, that's getting very unwieldy and ridiculous and it's really not a good way to do things. But I didn't know how to implement anything else. So using my unicorn workshop system, which I will talk more about in, um, in future episodes and I will also do a little video on what that is, I will be releasing a class on it. So look out for that. But using this system, I basically found a method, found a way to do my accounts that made sense to me, that worked for me, and was fun. So it's very, very simple, it's very basic, but I have managed to do my accounts every single Monday morning since last July. Apart from Christmas Eve, <laughs> which I didn't do on Christmas Eve, and then I felt really weird because I hadn't done it, so then I had to do it um, in this last week for New Year's because I just... I felt too strange not doing it. So basically what I've created is a, a weekly system where I sit down on a Monday morning and I print out my bank statements and I get all my receipts from the previous week and I input them into this system that I have created. It's a very basic system and I'm gonna take you through it right now. 
Um, anybody could do it, super simple. So I've managed to keep that up every single week and what it's meant for me is that I know exactly how much every month I am making and I am spending. So up until now, after 10 years of running my own business, I've never known how much I was making each month and how much I was spending. I just, I just never knew. Which is ridiculous, really. You should know how much you're making, how much you're spending. And if you don't own your own business, but you're an earth angel and you struggle with money, you can do this for personal finances as well. It's not just for people who are self-employed. This is for any finances whatsoever. So, yeah. By knowing how much I'm making, how much I'm spending, what I'm spending on the business, what I'm spending personally, it's really helped me to understand the dynamic of what's happening with my money. And weirdly, since I've started doing it, there's always been enough money. I've never, I haven't struggled and I haven't been worried about what, what's going out where and what's happening. I know exactly what's happening and therefore I don't worry about it. So it's really changed my whole relationship with money and I hope that it might be able to do the same thing for you. So what you are going to need, and I'm going to tell you what you need and then I want you to pause the video and go and get them. <laughs> because the best thing you can possibly do is to take action immediately. So, you're going to need a ring binder. Simple ring binder, nothing fancy. Obviously, if you're in America, it might have three holes, that's fine. Um, just simple ring binder. And you're also going to need some plastic pockets, and we call them poly pockets in the UK. I'm sure you probably have a different name for them. I'm just going to pull one out here just so I can show you. Um, plastic pockets. Some of these. Simple things that you probably already have in the house, and in fact, if you already have it in the house, it's even better because I don't want you to go out and spend money. That's not the point of this video. Um, so, things that you can just find in the house, and then also you could also use dividers as well if you want to. Now, then, go and grab those things, pause the video, go and grab them, and then come back. Welcome back. Now, then, you grab your file, you grab your pockets, you put them in the file. And you could create your own dividers if you don't have dividers, and you're, just, you're going to have a divider for each month. And you're going to have three pockets in each month. This is how I'm doing it. You can change the way that you do it, because it's got to work for you. It's got to be your method. This is my method. Take from it what you want. So, three pockets for each month. Now, and then a master pocket at the front. So this master pocket at the front is where you just put all your receipts and everything throughout the week, um, so you keep them all in the same place. And I've really gotten really good uh, as soon as I get a receipt, I put it in my phone cover, and as soon as I get home, I put it straight in the pocket. Because it's so easy to lose receipts, it's, ri it's ridiculous. So, put all the things that you collect in the week, all the receipts, in the master pocket, and then once a week, what I do is, I print out my bank statement, I print out my PayPal statement, and those are kind of like my, my working sheets. So I, I look at those, and it's from those that I match them up to the receipts, I keep the business receipts, obviously, I've got to keep the business receipts, but I get rid of any personal receipts I don't need. And that's why this system is so great as well, because if when I did it once a year, I'd have this massive amount of receipts and half of them were personal and I didn't need to keep them anyway. So I was storing stuff I didn't need to keep, which is not good um, when it comes to trying to declutter your house. So, you've got your file, you've got your pockets, you've got your dividers, and you could go back to April and you could input the system back from April if that's the beginning of your financial year. If it's a different month, do it for a different month. If you're doing it for personal finances, start from now. Start from January. Great place to start. Okay, so the three pockets. The first pocket, I put invoices and things of, of money that's coming into me, income. So I give people invoices, so I put the invoices in the first one. The second pocket, I put all my receipts that I'm keeping that are part of my business. The third pocket, I put all my printed out bank statements. And when I input from, from the bank statements, from the printed bank statements, into the Excel spreadsheet, I colour code it. So bright yellow is business income, blue is business expense, pink is personal. And I, and I colour code um, the different things. So basically, when I come to do my accounts, I know that you know pink is personal, I don't have to worry about that for the business. Um, yellow and blue is income and expenses, and I put those into the spreadsheet in the different um, sections, you know, whether it's postage or travel or food. And then I reference the receipts. So I'll write in the receipt, receipt number one, and next to the statement I'll put receipt number one, so I know that that receipt belongs to that. And then once that month is done, I move on to the next three poly pockets. And I've done it monthly because, I don't know, for me that just made the most sense. So if you've got a PC, you might have Microsoft and Excel have a spreadsheet template called Simple Monthly Budget. 
So you open Excel, you press new, you go to um, the templates and you put budget in the search term and the first one that comes up is simple mon monthly budget. This is the spreadsheet that I use to do my monthly accounts. So click on that and what it does is it has a, a summary page with a little chart of how much you made and how much you spent and then it's got an income tab and an expenses tab. And you basically, it's got you know things laid out all there ready and you basically on your, on your expenses you want to put your rent, your phone bill, your utilities, your, any other bills that you've got, your food, petrol, and what I did for mine is I created another business column, which then the figure just fed into business expenses. Um, so you can, you know, you can you change it however you want. And then your income, um, on your income sheet, you want to put your income. So, you know, your wages, any sort of, you know, tax credits or tax help that you might get, um, anything that you receive. I mean, if you're, you know, if you're an earth angel, you do you might do my body spirit fairs, you might do readings or whatever it is. You just you can put them down quite um, it's sort of quite broken down in what you do. I mean, I, I break everything down. You know, my body spirit fairs, my book royalties, um, so that I can see where my income is coming from. And then those figures, those totals, get fed into that summary, and you can see exactly how much you've made, how much you spent. And there's something about being able to see it visually like that that is really really useful and it tells you what percentage of your income you're spending so if it's more than 100% that's a slight issue so you might want to scale back but by breaking everything down quite small you'll be able to see where you're spending it so as an example one of the things that I have difficulty not spending a lot of money on is presents I love giving presents I love giving gifts to people so I spend a lot on presents so this year I'm cutting back on doing that because as much as I love giving presents to people it's a, it's a huge expenditure. Same with food as well. I spend far too much on food. I'm scaling that back. So it helps you to see where your money's going, what you're spending it on, where's it, where, it, where it's coming from. And what it's helped me to do as well is that I used to say that I wanted a certain figure, you know, every month. This is how much income I want per month because I think, I think it was just a figure I pulled out of the air. And I said, I think this figure will give me enough to live on and to thrive and whatever. Well, I realized that I was making that figure or close to that figure every month, but I was spending just as much. So actually that figure wasn't enough. So it's helped me to revise what figures I'm aiming for. So as you know, the law of attraction, what you set your intention on, what you set your target for is what you tend to, what you tend to create. So now I've revised my figure. Actually, I need this figure, not this figure. So it really just helps you to get to know your money, get to know your finances, get to see where you are, get to give you a clear picture. And if you own your own business, it's brilliant because you can you can just flip back and say, oh yeah, you know, I made this much of my business last month, but I also spent this much, and and this is what I spent it on, and it just it demystifies the whole topic. It demystifies, you know, money. It's no longer scary because something is only really scary if you don't know enough about it, or you can't see it clearly, or you're trying to hide it, or if you look at it right in the face, it's not scary anymore. So I hope that is useful, practical advice. It's really revolutionized the way that I do things. And in terms of remembering to do this every Monday as well, um, I have a really bad memory and I'm not very good at routine and schedules. So I have a bullet journal that I've been keeping for the last 18 months. And every single Monday in my bullet journal, it says accounts, 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 so that I can't forget because I look at my bullet journal and go, I've got to do my accounts. And to be honest, I don't forget anymore because I get really excited about doing it. <laughs> which might sound really crazy, a little bit sad, but it's, I enjoy it now. It's fun. And that's kind of a really good thing to do is to create something that, you know, accounts sound so dull and so boring and why would anybody want to, you know, spend time every single week doing it. Um, but I've actually really enjoyed every time that I've done it. And it, in fact, I try and do it first thing on a Monday morning. And if I've got something on a Monday morning that I can't shift, I end up doing it in the evening and even then it feels like, oh my gosh, I could do my accounts because I just, I enjoy it. You could do it in a different way. That's the thing. Take from this video what you will, um, but just with a simple folder with some pockets in and an Excel spreadsheet, which is called Simple Monthly Budget. It's really, really basic Excel. You don't have to have a lot of knowledge about Excel to be able to do it. Um, you could actually keep these really detailed and really helpful accounts, which means that you know, my next tax return is going to be so straightforward because I have all the figures all there. I have all the receipts all organized. It's, it's pretty much done as I go along, which is brilliant because then it means that I don't have the stress of doing it at the end of each year. So 
I really hope that was useful. If you have any questions, just post them below, um, because I really do think that this could help Earth Angels to get on top of their money management and to really just feel comfortable and happy with money. Um, so, Happy New Year. It is 2019, it's going to be amazing, and I hope that you'll come back and watch the rest of the, uh, the money videos. So until next time, be kind to yourself and get organized. Bye.